So ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to go through with you is how to use our period as an aid. And all pretty much when we're talking about a periodic function, a period when dealing with a function is going to be, let's say we had a point on our, um, on our unit circle. If I add a certain value and I get back my same, um, if I get same, same back value for my, ang for my point, then this is what we call periodic. So let me go and explain this a little bit more, maybe in terms of what we've already talked about. How about we talk about a coterminal angle? So let's look at this angle, right? So you guys remember, let's pretend, let's start with this one, which is 100, let's say t equals 120 degrees, right? Correct? OK. Now, if I was going to go all the, if I was going to go t equals 180 degrees, but then I was going to continue that to find its coterminal angle, which would be what? Yeah, how would I find the coterminal angle? I'd have to add how much? Well, remember, all the way around would have to be my add my 360, all right? So if I said my coterminal angle, which I can call t prime, would be add 360 would be 480 degrees. Those are equivalent angles, right? They're coterminal, yeah. right? Are the value? Oh, I'm sorry, and they're not equivalent, but they are coterminal, meaning they have the same initial and terminal side. On the unit circle, remember last class period, we talked about on the unit circle, we talked about the point of where it intersects on a unit circle, correct? Since these are coterminal angles, do they intersect at our same point? Yes, because they have the same initial and terminal side, so they're going to intersect at the same point on the unit circle. Yes? No, no, no. All I'm doing is I'm continuing it. If I start, if I did 480 degrees, I'd go what? 360. I'm just doing it. I just did it with different colors. But look at If I go 480, that's going to look something like that. That's 480 degrees. I just, I just continued it with different colors. Yeah, I can see what you're talking about. Um, but yeah, if that one's there, but then if I continue that one in green, you could still say, even if I started there, it ends up. But you guys could say that this point is exactly the same, right? OK, so, what is, so if I have my t, which is exactly the same, which we could say is 120 degrees, if I'm adding 360, I have equivalent points on the unit circle. Did you guys see how those two points would be exactly the same on your unit circle? Do you see how this angle and then the one double has is the exact same angle? So there's not going to be another point it's going to give me on the unit circle. They have, yeah, they're going to provide you with the same point on the circle. Yes. For this point, it's going to be 360, yes. All right. So what we're going to do is how, how is this going to play into, how are we going to use this to help us with our homework? Well, let's do an example. Let's say I wanted you to evaluate sine, which is going to be your function, of let's look at, um, let's do 7 pi. Okay? Let's see if we can evaluate 7 pi. So, what I want you guys to do is remember, coterminal angles, they provide you with the same, they don't provide you the same angle, but they provide you with the same point, right? The same initial and terminal side. So what I want to do is I can write this as sine of 2 pi plus 2 pi plus 2 pi plus pi. Do you guys kind of see that? Now, do you see how 2 pi plus 2 pi plus 2 pi equals 7 pi? Right? Now, what is that 2 pi doing to us, though? It's just repeating, right? But doesn't matter how many times I do 2 pi. I can do infinite many 2 pi's. Am I still going to end up at the same point? Yes. So these are what we call our like kind of cycles. or our, These are what you call your periods. So your cycle. So what we can do is we can just cancel now these out. So really, the sine of 7 pi is equal to the sine of what we could say uh, sine of 6 pi plus pi which is equal to the sine of just pi. Because the 6 pi, this all stuff cancels out. This is just redundant circling around the circle. It's extra stuff. We don't need to use it. All right. 
So what I want you guys to do is always, when you're trying to use period as an aid, if I say, hey, use period of an aid, or any time you have an angle that is larger than 360 degrees or larger than 2 pi, all right, you can find, your, find the 2 pi and then cancel them out, take them out. Because now, how can I evaluate sine of pi? Well, where is pi? This is a different, obviously, this is a different problem. Um, so where is sine of pi? So the first thing we need to do, remember when I worked at your steps, the first thing you guys need to do is graph it. So how do I graph the angle pi? Well, remember you start here, and pi radians is going to be right there, right? When looking at the unit circle, what is this point? Negative 1, comma 0. And sine always relates to which coordinate as your coordinate point? The y. So therefore, sine of pi is going to equal 0. So if I asked you to find sine of 7 pi, rather than doing this, 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, you're still going to get to the same point, ladies and gentlemen. Does that make sense? There's nothing wrong with going and doing that. 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi. I want you guys to understand, though, you can take out these periods because it's periodic. You can take these out and just evaluate for sine of pi. Okay. So it's not like a breakthrough of like, oh, a brand new type of problem, but it's kind of a way of shortcut for you guys to think about these problems. Because let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at a negative one. And maybe